Welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with me, Fu. And... Well, we met we met the uh, chief of police last episode. Let's just say that. <laughs> is that you, Sherry? Or is that something I should be a bit scared of? Or is it the chief? In any case, I'm going to get out the bow gun. I don't like this. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming the character that... Whatever character it is... Went through that way. I don't see anything... Particularly important looking in this area, so... Yeah, nothing extraordinary. Yes. I do not want to be in the dark. Secretary's Diary B. As I was straightening up the chief's room, he burst through the door with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I've started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. Last time was when I bumped into that statue, only this time he looked even more agitated than ever. I seriously thought for a moment that he was going to hurt me. June 15th, I finally discovered what the chief has been hiding all along. If he finds out that I know, my life will be in serious danger. It's just getting its getting late already. I'm just going to have to take this one, this one day at a time. That bad. Oh, okay. Wait. Let me go. <laughs> easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. You're safe now. <laughs> Aww. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. Oh. What was that? Oh. That's what I was telling you about. It's here. Sherry, wait. Okay. So, we've got to deal with Mr. Tall Grand. Ridiculous. Let's just grab whatever we can from here. I'm assuming we're going to have to come back to light the fireplace for some reason or whatever. Oh, well, I guess he's not in this room, so that's good. <laughs> he's in this hallway, isn't he? He's in this hallway, isn't he? Doesn't seem like it. Where are you? In the chief's office? Maybe? Well, cutscene, so... Aha! Chief? Where'd that slime ball get off to? Actually, calling him a slime ball isn't isn't harsh enough. Okay, precinct key, so I know where the heart key goes. And what is this? Yes, I will push it. Aha! Chief's diary. Oh, I can't even. I oh, this isn't fair. I've heard his voice already. I can't. I can't redo his voice. It's all over. 
Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, they ruined my town. Soon, the streets will be infested with zombies. I'm beginning to think that I may even, may even be infected myself. I'll kill everyone in town if this turns out to be true. September 24th. I was successful in spreading confusion among the police as planned. I've made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays and police actions, no one will have the chance to escape my city alive. I've seen to it personally that all escape routes from inside the precinct have been cut off as well. There are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. September 26th. I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I've decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the back, through the heart, less than an hour ago. I watched less than an hour. I watched him writhe in pain upon the floor in a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes. Frozen forever in the pose I choose to give her. I did okay. <laughs> did not need to know. Your sick twisted ways. Sacrifice dies by the claw of the jaguar. Its blood forms a serpent that poisons the earth. An eagle gl glistens bathed in blood. And the gateway of doom will open. That's a poem, right? That's not totally gonna open whatever door might be here. <laughs> uh Chief, 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 chief. Ugh. I thought even Umbrella would have better judgment than that. I'm assuming that Umbrella was were the ones that put him in as a puppet chief. <laughs> so he could keep a handle on things while they do whatever they want. I mean, how else would he get elected, or not elected, how else would he get appointed as police chief? Alright, so, two ways we can go. We got the heart key and we got the diamond key. The heart key will be used once the diamond... Oh, excuse me. It's getting late. The diamond key will be used once more as well, I think. Either way, we get to find Sherry, and we gotta figure out things about this. Obviously the chief is the prime bad guy in this in this scenario. Well, as well as Mr. X. I'm assuming that he's coming after the locket around Sherry's neck just because, well, it's a locket that is very distinctly rendered from the rest of her. <laughs> and it's coming after her, specifically. So, I'm assuming it's coming after the locket around her neck. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna save. I, I need to save. <laughs> There's no way around it. Okay, so... I'm assuming because he has roared out that we can now safely go back into the hallway where he was before with... Hopefully, no repercussion. Let's find out, shall we? I was expecting him earlier. Oh yeah, I gotta use the, the lighter on the fireplace as well. Maybe, I have no idea yet. Well, got through the hallway. <laughs> I'm already second-guessing myself as to where to exp as w Okay, I thought those were crow sounds. Those were just Claire walking on the dirt. As to where we should expect him next. This is fun. I love playing guessing games like this. Yes, it's useless. Let's go. I know. Wait. Where does this lead any anyway? 
Okay, I know where this is. This is... The hallway that leads to the basement. We're not going there yet. <laughs> For what I hope are obvious reasons. It's just that, uh... Uh, I don't want to go downstairs in case there's some sort of 2236, okay. In case there's some sort of person that'll pop out. 2, 2, 3, 6. What do we get? More acid rounds. Yes. And... Police station map. Finally. Ugh. Finally. It took me long enough to get that. Alright, so where are we? We have... Diamond key, spade key, and that is it. So let's go use that diamond key. Acid rounds. Huh. Ooh, I noticed that the zombie was missing that I never killed. Maybe? Nope. Nope, that would have been too lucky. I was hoping maybe they'd be gone, that maybe this had, the police station had gone into phase two, you know, like with Leon, that there were more liquors. Hello, Omni slash F8. Omni slash Fate. How's it going? <laughs> Forgot to sign out of PlayStation Network. <laughs> I was hoping that it would be like when the liquors replaced the zombies in Leon's story, and there just were certain zombies that didn't show up anymore. Are there zombies down here? No, okay. Cool. There is, however, the liquor in this room. However, I'm going to see if I can try to not draw his attention, because I've heard that they hunt by sound. I've already talked about this. Oh, come on, I got him. Oh, I don't have ammo. Well, that would have been nice to know. <laughs> Jeez. Just got ridiculous right there. Danger, 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 Claire Robinson. Well, nothing we really we can do about that. Isn't there something right here on the table, though? No. Why'd I come in here? So I can look at the magic mirror. Isn't there something on the shelf here? Yes, handgun ammo. Just what I needed. I could have gotten that without even alerting the liquor. Oh, god damn it. I'm such an idiot. Oh well. Might as well get the, uh... Ooh. Might as well get that. Yes, please. Might as well get this over with. I mean, the, the, we killed the liquor that was in that room, so I'm expecting it's not going to jump through the magic mirror like it did in Leon's story, but I could be wrong. Alright, health spray, but not anything else. I am so wrong. I am so wrong. It's going to jump through there. See? Told ya. Ah! I didn't even get what I got it. I went in there for. Let's see if I can maybe sneak around him now, though. No, there's glass on the floor. There's no way I can sneak around him. Come on, Claire. Come on, Claire. Come on, Claire. 
Okay, I'm just gonna run around. Come on, get it. Eagle stone. Yeah, we needed that. Come on, Claire. Wait, wait, wait. Can I go around this way? No, I can't. There's no room. Come on, Claire. He's stuck behind the table. Come on, Claire. Yes! We made it. I could probably do that better, though. So I'm probably going to do it better off screen. <laughs> There's no reason for me to have wasted my crossbow bolts. Ah. Anyway, we got the Eagle Stone. See you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mewix Fu, and, well, we'll go back through the heart door, and we gotta go downstairs. There's no way around it, because we gotta find another half of the blue stone tablet, and we gotta find the spade key somewhere, which I think we get downstairs, so. See you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mewix Fu. Take it easy.